Holy lord, he's right there. <laughs> Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel. And for today's video, we're back in Hunting Sim 2. And I'm glad to say that I have spent a lot of time doing a lot of work. And for that reason, check it out. We have the 308. The sporting rifle with the 20 round mag and i'm hoping it makes a difference having the gear now getting the gear which by the way took absolute forever so unlike call of the wild you can only use each scope once and so what i have is you see i have the 308 and the 223 it just just imagine this in your head that rifle right there with that scope that's was seven, eight, nine, nine whitetail right there. It, it's been a minute. There's a reason for a gap in videos, usually grinding. Uh, then the next thing I'm finding interesting is, so here I'm allowed to select collars, right? So I have the deer collar on there. If I go to item two, okay, there's binos. Item three is, wait, still binos? Oh, so I can have, I, I think these will be fine. These are 50 buys with range finding. Those are still binos, okay. Still, still binos. Not quite sure what's happening there. Okay, so I guess I'm just going out with that. So, and I believe I went ahead and grabbed... Okay, yeah, because I was dumb and I bought a whole bunch of licenses I didn't need to buy. So, we're going to Texas. We're going to the Bandera region. Alrighty, so here we are. Looking for some bison in the Bandera area. Uh, is that a rock or... See, aha, uh -huh, I got these things now. That's a bush. It's probably not going to help in this case. Oh my lord, the DPI. Look at that. So, one of the things I will point out for uh, anyone who hasn't played this game, that's 476 yards right there. That one's 530 yards. Um, since I've gotten these binos, I have spotted animals at up to about 700 yards. That is way further than you get in Call of the Wild. And that makes the whole process of spot and stock hunting work so much better. What you got, bud? And hopefully with something as big as a bison, uh, that'll make this a lot easier. So, Wilson, find me a bison. Of course, with these, with this kind of sight, really the only job Wilson's going to have is finding the animal if I don't kill it right away. But I'm not going to be, I don't think I should take any shots at like 500 something yards just because I don't think this rifle's quite got it. Yeah, look at that. 670 yards out there. I'm pretty sure that's a doe. I want to see though, because sometimes. Oh, cheevers. And I have completely lost the animal. What just happened here? Where did I. Hi. Ooh, made that switch and I lost him completely. Oh, there, wait. Look at that. There's a rabbit at 762 yards. Oh, the viewing distance is great. I can actually look a good ways. This is fantastic. Oh, wait, did Wilson... I thought he found something. I mean, you could legitimately, like, if they included stands and stuff the way Call of the Wall does right now, I mean, right now they just got the fixed ones. Oh, I heard a call over here. Didn't I? Anyways, if they were to include stand, yeah, they, I did. If they were to include stands and you could set up, I mean, you could spot quite a good ways. Now, I don't know what range the callers. Oh, right down here. All right. You know what? So that's... I like the color of that one, but we're going to go for this one here. And I, I would say that one too, but yeah, he's still running. I don't know where he's running to because that's a cliff. Okay. What? Yeah, okay, sure. He just, what? Now he's limping. That's only 250 yards. I could still do that. I did that. Look at that. So he's down right there, and there's another one up there. And I still <laughs> still have 58 rounds, and there's a license to a tag down. Happy with that. Okay, so let's see if I can pinpoint where that is. Uh, that's the first shelf here. 
There's the washout here, so he's right there. Wilson's walking very perilously. Perilously? 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 That, that's too damn close to the edge, bud. How far did that other one go? I'm not gonna lie, I took my eyes off for a second, and I thought he went back in these trees here. Is he gone? Alright, that's fine. Um, I brought this thing. And maybe with this I'll be able to also get an idea of what the range is for these collars. Well, that looks like a pronghorn. I'm sorry, wait. Is that reading correctly? That's a pronghorn at almost 900 yards. Now, hunting Sim 1, if I remember correctly, the rangefinder would read up to like 2,100 yards or something. Look at that. What is this? It's reading to like 3,600 yards. I, render range is not that high. I'm not seeing the other one, and I'm more interested in bison than anything else today. So that was just a test, really, to see what this rifle could do. And given that that was a... Nah, it was a 122-yard shot. That's all that is. It looks so much further. There's something about the perspective in this game. Like, things look so much further than they are. And I, I remember that also being a thing in Hunting Sim 1. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. I didn't know that's how that worked. Uh, what's that? It's a big horn at 400 yards. I love this. We can see forever. Call the wild. Take note. Spot and, uh, spot and stock hunting really only works when you can spot further than they can sense you. Okay, that's cool. So, look at that. We may not be able to jump, but I can sure as hell get up here. And there's my deer. He's a young and... Oh, wow. Wait, what? Look at that. I hit back here? Wow, so that was actually a bad aim. Oh, he went that way? Stay where you are. He's right here in these trees somewhere. There he is, right up there. Nope, that is a buck. I... Well, I boogered that one up. I don't know what happened there. I had a nervous twitch and I clicked fire. All right, enough of that. Leave the mule deer alone. Saw some big horn. I can't jump. I was gonna jump that little gap and I can't. Uh oh. Do that. All right. Enough messing with the mule deer. Let's go find a bison. I have no idea where they are. Got a nice big horn coming up right here. Or a desert big horn, right? All right, so here's what I'm going to do. That desert bighorn gets into range. Yes, shush. Uh, I might... Well, I mean, he's already in range, but if he keeps getting closer and I don't see any bison, I'll probably take him and then go collect that tent. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. See, the problem is they're pretty much all going to have to be walking shots, so I guess we're going to try this at 200-something yards. That was a hit. I think he dropped, because I haven't seen him leave those trees. Yeah, he's down right there. Cool! Wow, that was effective. Oh, got another one there. How many licenses do I have for Bighorn? Five. That's a little far, though. That's 300-something yards. Not that comfortable with this rifle yet. That range there was a bit of a far shot for me. All right. Well, there's no health, right? Is there fall damage? Nope, doesn't appear so. So I'm going to grab this guy, go over, grab the tent. We'll move on. If I catch up to that other big horn, maybe I'll nab him. Oh, I got to record my stuff too. So I'm also trying to like gather up information as far as what year, age they're considering to be what level. So I'm always making sure to start grabbing the information now. And then I use the shot distance to make sure it's the right animal when I go to claim. So like if I grab a few of them... I have all it entered here, and then I just make sure it's the right shot distance. And then the rest of this I'll grab... Oh no, this I can grab now. That was a lung shot. And now I can run across and grab this tent. Oh! Or we can grab our second big horn right there. <laughs> that's convenient. Sticking to this bush right here. All right, what do we got here? Yep, that's another one.
Now look at this spot. We got a nice little tree. Like if I had one of them tri spots, what you call them? Tri spot, tripod scopes. There we go. Say that three times fast. This is perfect right here. You set you up a little picnic and just scope. I know I said scope. I, the term is glass. Whatever. Look around. See what there is. Enjoy the outdoors. He says as he plays a video game <laughs> that takes place in a spot that's only a couple hours from where he lives. <laughs> you know, I just had a sudden realization. And it's actually very aggravating because I only just had this realization that you change the time in the lodge. And I changed the time, and I think I changed it to midday once. And I've never changed it back to anything else. Oh my lord, uh, I wonder, <laughs> gee, I wonder if it would make it easier in the desert to find animals when it's not midday. Oh, there's a tent, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else around here. Alright, so I'm going to snag that tent. Wilson, move. Alright, let me go grab that tent. I'm going to change the time and see if that helps. Something right there. Rock. Alright, so we're back and it's morning and I'm an idiot. Uh, I went back and changed the time without first checking, like, my bagged animals. So, yeah. I lost that desert bighorn and I lost the mule deer. Well, you know, as luck would have it. Curiosity, does that mean the licenses are used up still? No. The licenses aren't used up if I don't bag them. Well, that's good to know. Or if I don't claim them in the... In the lodge here. Oh, some deer out over there. Look at that. They're animated at 1,300 yards. That's amazing. Oh, Wilson, you found something. Where are you, bud? Where'd you go? Look at... Wait. Seriously? Bison. Good dog! Go on! You did... Holy lord, he's right there. <laughs> Come. I need you beside me. <laughs> oh my lord. An hour of tracking. Uh All right, that's fine. So we know he's in this valley. I'm going to move to the left here. Actually, let's go ahead and drop a marker here. Am I really just... Yeah, I'm behind this tent a little bit. Just gonna take it easy. You know what, Wilson? Matter of fact... Stay there. I know this, you probably don't want to sit in a field right here, but... Oh, my lord, I was just walking up and there he was. Uh, he got close, too. I think I just saw him. I know I'm gonna need some elevation for this. I don't get how that animal disappeared. What did you find? Please, for the love of God, be a... Wait... You found him. Good job. That's a good go. dog. He did go this way. But he crossed over. My lord. <gasps> Wait. That's him. There he is. I want to try and get parallel to him so I can line up a broadside. I don't know how all that's going to work. Because where is he heading? It looks like he's heading in a circle. Because... You may not be able to see it, but right off there. There's the outpost we started at. There he is. Still just looking at his backside. And it looks like there's a ridge line here that's going to get in the way. Is that another one? No, that's a tower. Hi. <laughs> I saw white for a second and was about to see red. I'll tell you what. Dang it. <laughs> there's a giant cliff in the way. Hey, he got across that, right? So surely I can too. Oh, he went right up this way. Man, he was so close. How was I... I mean, because I was standing on that ridgeline for a minute. He had to have turned around and was coming back. Because I was standing there too long for him only to have gotten the distance ahead he got. Because he should be... I should be able to look down this ridgeline and see him. Oh. I don't know what kind of call that was. He's right around here. I just want to put... There he is. A 
That's two in the long. All right. <gasps> yes! I, you have no idea. It's been a minute. Uh, let's see. It's almost three hours. Trying to find this bugger and trying to get him. I swear there are like two bison on this whole map. This one over here doing loops, and then there's another one over here. But we started tracking, you see my original mark down here. All the way over to here. And then this is the hill where I had thought I would see him in the valley up here. And he ended up coming all the way back around. This is fantastic. Alright. Let's find it. Holy lord, that was ridiculous. Is this his track here? I want to to give Wilson the points, so I'd like to give Wilson the points. Wilson, come to me. Come on. Where are you? Oh, somehow you got ahead of me. Or are you just automatically tracking that because that's the same track? Can I get you to track one of these? Oh, so I don't know if I left this in or not, but I uh, I shot a pronghorn earlier. An adult. I won't I won't be keeping that, so I'm not going to bother recording it. Oh, hey, but I completed that license finally. All right, let's get to what we really came here for. Holy heck. That 308 did some work. Look at that. So this is the first shot here. That's a good Go get dog. It. Wow. 308 versus bison. That's that's a trail there. Now that is a gorgeous thing right there. Look at the size of this thing. Good job, Wilson. We did it. Now ain't that a good dog? Is that another bison? Or no? Elk. I'm not gonna lie, if he if he goes right to there, that's 104 yards. I'll take him. Bingo. Double tap with a 308. I don't know why I'm reloading. <laughs> All right, let's grab the elk real quick. Oh, well, yeah, that looks like a pretty good... Uh... Oh, that looks fluffy. All right, let's see here. All right. I'll take him. Might actually be able to make some money. All right, let's see what we got here. That was a young bison. All that, and it turned out to be a youngin. All right, and that is a license complete. So now we have the long, wonderful trek of... No, that's not what I wanted. Nope, still not what I wanted. There we go. Removing that. And... Oh, I guess it's not that far. We just got to run straight ahead back to the cabin. Actually, what's closer? Ah, the cabin. Might as well just run straight back, which is straight that way. Ooh, we finally made it back. Hey, wait. Wilson! Come on! Come. Where'd you go? Over there? Oh, come on, Wilson. We're done. Okay, the pronghorn. That's 227. We're gonna sell him right off the bat. Now, this is where I gotta remember to record stuff. So we're gonna keep the elk. He would be worth 791 credits. That's a lot. But we're going to keep them for the trophy. And then the bison. Look at that. If we were to sell that bison, you know what? I'm keeping this one. Yep, I'm going to keep him. Hang on a second. 233 pounds. That bison does not weigh 233 pounds. Maybe 1,233 pounds? Oh, look at that. I could have five grand, but instead... Keep trophy. Oh. All right. Actually, let's go to the lodge. And there he is, our bison. Which, if I had sold him, would have paid for the rifle that I had to buy to kill him. Out of curiosity, it's a $460 license. I actually can't afford it. I could afford it. Oh, right, we got the elk, too. Uh, so the spreadsheet, I actually started that after I started getting all these guys, so luckily I do videos because I was able to go back and get all the information. Anybody see where the elk is? Oh, up there. Yep. That's an elk. I don't know why the horns, they just, they're so white. They're really, really white. You know, oh, we can get moose, red deer. I'm trying to do some math in my head here. 
So I'm thinking that for the next hunt, it will be red deer. I really want to see the fallows. What do the stars mean? I guess that's the reward. Like how good? And then they have gray wolf, which is going to be two, two, three. Bear, we haven't gotten any bear yet. That's going to be something to get. Oh boy, but yeah, uh, just as a preemptive, there's a red deer and I want fallow deer. And I guess we're going to go for Sitka. All capable with the 308. So next time we get to explore this lovely area and find us some red deer and some Sitka blacktail and some fallow deer. That is going to be fun. But that being said, that does it for this one. So there are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push until next time. <laughs>